This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay, and this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Minnesota Vikings. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. carry for Lamar Miller. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. On the carry. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw now. Here's Love. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Love from the gun. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Sets up fourth down. And the coach has decided to challenge this play. He has tossed down the red flag. J.K. Scott on the punt. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself. 
but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 40. He's back to throw here to start the drive. Setting up the screen for Cook. And now look at him go. And that was way Touchdown, too Vikings. Delvin Cook, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. He may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Makes it third down and 12 yards to go. Working out of the gun. Love. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. At the 46-yard line. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And he's got Rome. The 20. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Love fires that quickly outside. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Alan Lazard, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. 
than you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. At the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They go play action. Cousins lets it fly for Thielen. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. That brings up third down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. A gain of 12. And the Vikings. Following the good run by Cook. Here's another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But Dalvin Cook's best game of 2019 came against these Packers. It was in week two early in the season, but he had 154 yards and a touchdown on the ground. So his Vikings actually wound up falling 21-16 at Lambeau. To throw on second and six, Cousins. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. There for the sack, Everson Griffin. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Third and long for Cousins. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Second down, Cousins. Man open, that's Chester Rogers. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First down, Viking. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. First down throw for Cousins. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. From the gun, here's Cousins. Let's it fly. And this is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Touchdown. Adam Thielen, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings have taken the lead. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. 14, Packers 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25.
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tone. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Love now. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good for a green. A nice gain of 21 yards. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. The ball carrier. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now Williams. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. He was brought down by Todd. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Adams. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Mm. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Let's him fly for Thielen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing his Cousins. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. 17 yards. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. First down, here's the run with Cook. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Number 33, Dalvin. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. 36-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Cousins gives way to Cook, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. At the 34-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Cousins 
Cousins. Oh, and he'll just get rid of this one deep. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. To number Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now on the afternoon. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay. And that'll be intercepted by the Pro Bowl safety, Harrison Smith. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. They'll take over. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Pardon, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. He was taken down it's a first down following a gain of three. A gain of three. And the Vikings first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We play to win. Let's go. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Jake Ryan. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second and a couple. Cousins. And that's incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Two yards to go. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Attempt carry in the game for Cook. 
And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. And it's pretty evident when you watch how Minnesota plays, just how important Dalvin Cook is to their offense. A 1,000-yard rusher a year before, the first one the Vikings had since Adrian Peterson was dominating their carries. And having Cook in the lineup for the bulk of the season, that made Minnesota exactly what their head coach Mike Zimmer wanted them to be, a much more physical team that complemented their defense. Now Cousins. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. That catch good for only a couple. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Coming right, this is Cook on the toss play. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. Kevin, I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. Bailey for the Viking field goal. A 48-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Love. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And it'll bring up third down. And 10. Shotgun, it's love. 
Looking deep for Adams. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Intended for Devontae Adams. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Vikings now to start their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something that feels somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Yeah, yeah, give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Gain of 13 yards. Most of damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. A good run there by Cook on first down, powering his way forward, a gain of six. The tackle well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. The last run got six, now second and four. A toss to Cook. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. So back at the midfield stripe now, they'll come up second and long. Cousins now from the 50. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I'll guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. 
So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Cousins. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 25-yard line. A, a well-executed 22-yard gain. Vikings. They run the counter with Carr. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The tackle, the tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. One yard gain. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again with Cook. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Certainly not an easy one on third and long. To throw is Cousins. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And Bailey missed it. It's no good, wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently, neither guy is immune. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things work well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Second down, Love. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 35-yard line. To pass, here's Jordan Love. 
He'll find his tight end here, DeGuara. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. That's another. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. But it'll be second down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Throwing again. Love. He'll find Aguara complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Goal at the nine-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, Love. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Operating from the gun. Love. This is caught. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez-Scantling. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit. And he's got it up and through. That's the score. Vikings 24. Packers 14. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Alvin Cook, the ball carrier. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 26-yard line. And that is going to do it That's for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. play got just a yard here second and nine from the 26 Cousins and Rudolph has it the tight end and they're able to get this one across the 35 it's a first down on a gain of 10 down Minnesota so from the 36 now first and 10 Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the 37-yard line. Again, it's Cook. 
And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards there and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. 57, Mike, 57. Got to do better. Come on, QB, come on. Throwing, Cousins. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Complete. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Draw play, Cousins to Cook. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Vikings on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and seven. Working out of the gun. Cousins. And that will be incomplete. When you run into slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Here's Britton Colquitt now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. First and ten, and they someone put me out because I'm on fire. I can't give up about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my joke, can't catch my way. Damn, Kane, you done kill Abel. Unbalanced land, trying to keep the people stable. The way I feel, I might f it all up. The way you feel, you might do it for the bug. All black, born to be a rebel. After this, I might go in water down the devil. Listen to everything around me, I can't see. You picked a dozen roses and left them in Galilee. Rolling thunder, don't hear my cry, don't let alibi scratch if I finally starting to realize. Never give up and go inside, can't watch TV. It's all a lot, tired of trying. Go ahead and fly. Everybody want a straight answer, but media keep us blind. A good heart is not hard to find. Why the people try to define infrastructure right on that time? Structure right on that time. I could, I could, it's all to what talking about. You're about to protect themselves and daughters from political and slaughter. Someone put me out because I'm on fire. I can't give up about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my joke, can't catch my way. Never 
play by the rules. That's your paying my dues. They gon' try to intrude. Poison the multitude. They be quick to accuse. When you got different views, just know you gon' pay the price. Press up the item you choose. When it ties in the culture, hit you with them can't ultra. I knew you was a vulture. Holy shit. <laughs> Shock you, deny you fluster Crashing down, I was cluttered Doing this so subtle Falling out through the rubble Remember this in jungle The top I was gonna get something The middle gotta stay hunting Why the rush up for nothing? 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 Agitated illusion Only built for confusion Put in the institution Modern the execution Think I need the solution Maybe not should I do it well, Just put it in the music Just put it in the music Someone put me out Cause I'm on fire I can't give a about what they say They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my drip, can't catch my wave. You're burning. Don't tell me to relax, I can't, I'm insane Got a new press, those in the J's in a way Got a new bridge, watch, ready, don't take time Might pull up on a hop if it's up too hot And you wanna play ball, hit a three-point shot Boy, this my court, got a block on lock I done made it by the million and I'm only 19 uh, I see water dripping on a white tee And shorty got a man, but she's saying wife me I got chats coming in like a pair of Nikes If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it Hit the bag and then I flip it, watch me do it All the more, my wrist going stupid Yeah. <laughs> 